kitchen. And today, we are going to be fixing modern porcupine meatballs with a pan sauce. I got this at Walmart yesterday, so I'm going to be showing my complete menu. Now, you all know how to fix mashed potatoes and sweet peas. I'm just adding some salt and some butter and cooking them down. All right, well, what we're going to be needing is two pounds of ground beef. I do have ground chuck for both of them. This is actually a little bit more than a pound. But you could also use like half and half uh, ground beef and ground pork. You're going to need two boxes of rice, uh, beef flavored rice. I got this from um, oh, Save A Lot. And you're going to be needing two eggs. You'll also be needing four cups of warm water. And I'm going to add a little pep bit of pepper. So we'll get everything started and bring you back. Let's get a dinner rolling. Guys, we're back. I put my two pounds of ground beef in the bowl. And what you're going to want to do is open these. And take the little seasoning packet out. We're going to use that later. And just pour your rice and vermicelli mix in there. Add two eggs, beaten. And as I said, it doesn't call for it, but I'm going to be adding a little bit of pepper. You definitely do not need salt in this. Unless you want to, that's entirely up to you. Okay. Okay. Now what we want to do is mix this all up. Combine all that rice with the... Uh, the beef. And try and keep your gloves on. I got these at, Wal at uh, Dollar Tree and I like the health care ones a little bit better but <laughs> sorry. All right, once you get this combined, what you're going to do is you're going to be making little meatballs out, out of it. The size is totally up to you. Oh, my Lord. Okay, this isn't working. This isn't working for me. Y'all heard Tony, but that's on the videos. My hands are clean. Yeah. They say your hands are your best mixers. So I'm just going to demonstrate a couple and then I'll bring you back. I think I want about golf ball size. And just make roll them into balls. Because what we're going to do is we're going to brown them off. We're not going to cook them. We're just going to brown them off before we go on to the next. So I'm going to finish up making these in little meatballs and I'll bring you back when we go over to the uh, skillet. Oh, by the way, preheat your oven to 350. That would be important to know. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got all, everything balled up. What I've got is a medium, a pan on medium. And all I'm going to do is be browning these off. I didn't add any oil. I just added some cooking spray. And you just want to put in these in here, put in these, kind of talk of that, put in these in here and brown them off. No need to cook them because they're going to cook a little while in the oven. So I'll get these started and we'll bring you back and show you the next step. One thing, I do have a baking dish that I sprayed with cooking spray. I've had this dish for like 10 years. And I only use it for two things. Homemade be baked beans and porcupine meatball. But it's a little ceramic glaze, I believe. And But that's what I'm going to cook it in. All right, be right back. Okay, I browned these off. And there was no oil because, like I said, I did use brown chuck. 
And I'm just going to place these in the dish. Once again, a lot of poo just for me and Tony. He just got home. It's actually almost 8, almost 8.45. Okay, what you want to do now is take about four, well, take four cups of water. And you want your little seasoning packets from the rice. Empty that in there into your water. Oh, shoot. If I make a mess, I had them upside down. Oh, well. That'll still be good. Stir that in. And pour this mixture over your meatballs. Try not to make a mess when you're doing it. Alright, what you're wanting to do is you have enough liquid in there to cover your meatballs. I think that's pretty good. They'll cook down a little. And once you put them covered into a 350 degree oven, and you're going to cook them 45 minutes to an hour, how long you cook it is according to the size of your balls. Okay, that did not sound right. Your meatballs. All right, we'll bring you back whenever we're almost done. Guys, we just got this out the oven. Look at these. These look really good. Now, what it did told me to do, what I sometimes can do, if you use like ground beef with the ground pork, you make a pan sauce. But it tells you to use your drippings from your pan. I didn't have any drippings. So what I'm using is I put about a tablespoon of butter and what you and what I'm going to do is add, oh, maybe half of a, half of a tablespoon of the Wonder Flour. I'll stir that up just for a minute, a short minute. You aren't going to be really brown in it or anything because it, you're just making a little pan sauce on them use it to go over the um, mashed potatoes and what you want to do is take some of this broth I'm gonna use about three ladles and you're gonna let this boil <coughs> and reduce and then that'll be your, your pan sauce. I've got this on medium. That's what I cook on. Because I made it with butter, you know how whenever you make a, usually a finishing sauce, you want to add some uh, butter to the top of it. But I'm not going to do that with me adding the flour. That's coming together nicely. All right, I'm going to let this reduce, and I will bring y'all back with the finished result. All right, supper's ready. We got our modern-day porcupine meatballs, mashed potatoes with our pan sauce, and sweet peas. I hope y'all enjoy it, and y'all have a blessed day.